Hello everybody, this is Steven with American Aquarium Products and today we will be taking a look at the TMC Smart Controller. The Smart Controller allows you to set a schedule. This is the same schedule that the Multi Controller provides with a few added bonuses such as four ports instead of two, a lunar cycle, and much more. This video will go into depth on the features and how to set up the Smart Controller. Let's take a look at what comes with the controller. Power supply also known as transformer. This is the same power supply that comes with the multi-controller. The plug that connects to the power supply, the temperature sensor cable, which also includes the master-slave connection, the fiber optics light sensor, eight USB adapters that will connect with the previous generation model, a mounting kit, the instructions booklet, and last, the smart controller menu system. This will help guide you through the setup process. Here is a full view of the menu system. Now let's take a look at the smart controller itself. Here's the power supply port, the LAN port or internet connection, channel one A and B, channel two, channel three, and channel four. The COM connection is for the temperature probe and master slave. The light pipe input is for the fiber optics light sensor. Now I will demonstrate how to connect your smart controller. To power your smart controller, you will want to plug the main cable into the power supply, plug the power supply into the wall, and into your controller. To set up the temperature probe, you will want to plug in the mini USB to the comp port. You can then use the temperature probe to give you readings of your water temperature or your light temperature. The male USB port is to connect to another controller to create a master or slave unit. Here I am demonstrating how to plug in your TMC LED strip. If your LED does not have a USB style connection, you can simply use the supplied adapters that come with the unit. Later in the video, I will show how to connect and use the software to set up the controller. But first, I will show you how to manually set it up. From the home screen, press enter. You will see time setting. Press up or down to see set time. Press enter and up or down to select the hour. Press enter and up or down to select the minutes. Press enter twice and you'll see channel one setting. Press up and you'll see on. Press enter to select the time that you want this channel to come on with hours and then minutes. Next, you will be setting the off time for this channel in hours and minutes. Ramp is the time it takes this channel to come on and to go off. This is set in minutes. Max is the percentage based intensity that your LED will perform at. Min is the lowest intensity that your TMC LED will go down to. You can have unique settings for channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, and 4. Miscellaneous settings. First is a 30 day lunar cycle. This is controlled through channel 4 and can be toggled on and off. Cloud simulates clouds passing over at random 20 per hour, dimming at a maximum of 20%. Storm will create one random storm per day. When using the fiber optic light sensor in light level, you will get a percentage based reading of the light intensity. If your light level seems to be reading incorrectly, you can always calibrate your sensor with the next miscellaneous setting. Next in line is the temperature sensor. Once in this menu, you'll be able to see the temperature in Celsius. As I mentioned earlier, you can use the temperature probe in your water, or you can use it to measure the temperature of your light fixtures. The next section is for the master slave 
connection. With this USB cable, you are able to connect up to three additional controllers, using one as a master and having the others as a slave mimicking the master. Next, you have a reset button to reset your controller. Your controller's IP address is how you connect it with your computer. Version is the current version that your controller is using. And that is all for the miscellaneous settings. Lastly, I'll go over how to connect your smart controller to your computer. Using a Cat5 Ethernet cord, connect the controller to your modem or directly to your computer. After you established a connection, open your internet browser and type in the IP address. You will see the light level, the temperature, the channels, moonlight, cloud, daily storm, and the current time. You can change the time settings, set the channels on, off, ramp, max, and min. Toggle the lunar cycle, the cloud, and also the storm. You can change your username and password, and you can see the IP address and the version. If you have your controller set up to your router, you can access all this information on your smartphone or mobile device. You can also contact your internet service provider to set up port forwarding, so you can access this information anywhere you go. This concludes my video on the smart controller. I hope I answered all your questions. And again, this is Steven with American Aquarium Products. Have a great day.